you coach a lot of people. What are the, the biggest mistakes that you see entrepreneurs make? I think entrepreneurs today don't take enough time to think. I think that reflection is something that's becoming a thing of the past. I think that boredom no longer exists because in every idle moment, people are reaching for their phones. And I think that entrepreneurs need to realize how important their time is and that they can, they can make better use of their time by sharpening the saw, so to speak. And that's just taking time out of your day, scheduling time to think. Some people think better when they're going for a walk. Some people think better when they're in the shower. Some people think better just sitting on the couch. And so I would say, don't feel like you always need to be doing something. Take some time to read, say, take some time to think. Reading is not Twitter. Reading is sitting down with a book and absorbing its contents so that you can be more effective. I think that's great advice. So I actually just got back from Croatia, baby bathwater. We were on an island with high level entrepreneurs and that I was talking to them. Obviously I want to learn from them. A lot of them are, most of them are way more successful than, than I am. And that was my biggest takeaway. They, they were like, Nate, your, your calendar's too packed. You got to block off more time for you, more time for reading, for reflection, for brainstorming. And, and that's kind of what I've been talking with uh, with my business partner, Connor, who lives in Denver, and I'm going to see next week and how we can kind of restructure it. So yeah, we're still doing the podcast and the projects and, and all that stuff. But we also have time to ourselves for that planning and brainstorming. So I think that that's great advice. What other advice do you have for the audience? You've obviously, you've done a lot, you're able to retire at a young age, you got a blog, you got a podcast, you do coaching. Is there anything else that, that we didn't touch upon that you think would bring a lot of value to the audience? Just to add on to what I was saying about reflection, if if you take time out to do planning, that will also help because so many people are not setting goals and we, we know how reticular activating systems work to where once you have something written down, you're going to start noticing things that you didn't notice before, right? Pregnant women see pregnant women everywhere. When you buy a red Ferrari, you start to see red Ferraris everywhere. Not that I would ever buy a Ferrari, uh, but that, that all, is part of goal setting and whether you have whether you're a systems person or a goals person I, there's an argument that i see on twitter all the time between being systems oriented or goals oriented i would i was setting major goals when i was 22 and 23 and so i started on december 31st of every year setting 90 minutes aside and reflecting on the past year go over who i met uh, what i learned how i could harness what i learned and who i met to benefit me for the following year. And that is thinking, planning, reflecting. I don't think people are doing that nowadays. I think we're all, and I'm guilty too, addicted to our phones. And so if I had one piece of advice for your audience, it would be just to take some time out and think about what you want your life to be, do some planning, do some reflecting, see how you can get better next year than you were this past year you need to be able to effectively manage money and especially your personal household budget. So my income started doubling while my expenses stayed low. I mean, I, I didn't go much higher in terms of lifestyle than what I was living as a college kid. 